All right, I'm going to try to speed run this intro real quick. I don't have much time to record. So few things. I'm testing a pre-boarded, a kind of pre-boarded um, main deck against Teamer. Teamer is everywhere. I see it constantly, all the time. All my matches are Teamer, 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 Teamer. Until I play this deck and then there's no more Teamer. But uh, that's, how, that's how it is on Arena. Um, conspiracy theory, maybe. But yeah, three Tidebinder main deck. We are still running Citadel. I think it's actually pretty good. Four Jace main deck. I'm just trying to like completely dominate game one, basically. And I think it's pretty good. Um, I cut one Wandering Emperor, I cut one Sunfall, and I cut uh, the uh, draw discard thing. So we got that. Stonebrain's still in the sideboard. Uh, Flanker is in the sideboard. It's uh, probably really good. The more I play the matchup, the more I'm realizing a few things is that you probably want to mill aggressively with Jace, which means that you might want to like minus six or minus seven. Like let's say you play it, you take up like one or two turns. You probably just want to minus it and just use the flanker and get rid of everything in the graveyard. Um, that kind of situation has been popping up a little bit more where I was wondering if I'd rather have, you know, an exile all over the hearse just because of Jace interaction and your overall game plan. So yeah, it has some merit, might play more. Definitely considering more, honestly. It could be... Lantern, maybe, but I think Flanker is probably better because it's more application outside of that matchup. Definitely something to consider. And then the sideboard slot, the sideboard slots that were transitioned over to the main deck are now in the sideboard, and we have another tide binder as well. So yeah, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Well, I, I literally cut to the chase already. Never mind. <laughs> I'm tired. So yeah, um, check out my second channel. I'm playing Roblox over there, link in the description, and uh, enjoy the gameplay. Man, these are just so bad. I kind of can't play Citadel, even though it's really good. Just, I don't think you can play turn one Citadel if you have a Murex on turn two. Oh, this is ramp instead, I guess. It's fine. I did not want to play that, but whatever. I have four mills, so definitely the mill win con instead of the Murex win con. Hey, Deagle. Emotions are distractions. Focus on the I know where to find all the answers. Ah, Jace, please. Stop drawing me one of my two sunfalls. I now have all of them. I guess it's it's honestly fine. I need the card. I can't. I can't. They're out of lands. Okay, that's good. Alright, we're good. They're mana screwed. No double green. Can't ramp with Dino. They probably have another Archangel if they slam to one. Yeah. I could just go for the plus now and then maybe... Well, actually, the plus is not that good. They could just kill it. I don't have answers for... What is happening? I feel like my game is glitching out. The animations are not working. I guess I just forced them to answer it. Still have two left. What is happening? It feels like it feels like it's sticky. I don't know. It's weird. Wow. That's really annoying. It's a lot of Archangel. It's not as bad as binding, I guess. You me. Still. Yeah, something's happening. I feel like it's just letting go. It's grabbing and letting go of the cards, like, weirdly. Game's kind of bugged out, I think. Oh, 
I don't even care about bluffing here. They know I don't have counters, but I mean, they, I can't even do anything. <laughs> sure. I need freaking no secret escapes my card draw. Please. I might have to just crack the anchorage here. I need to dig, like, I have nothing. There. That's one card draw. I like that. Okay, they don't have a track, so it's good, I guess. That's good. Riddle is fine. At least it digs. I just gotta fully commit to finding the other Jace, I guess. I don't have a Field of Ruin, are you kidding? I don't want to activate Marex, but I think I have to use the riddle. But what if they have the? Hmm, it's sketchy because if they have the something's wrong with my game. I need to restart the game. It's like dragging and dropping things super quickly. It's super weird. Why did I... I'm tilted. Clearly. Floppy play. Like, I should not have played that. I mean, Wandering Emperor is not very good, so... Kind of okay with it. And the good news is I have answers. Well, I can get my Jace back, so. We don't even need the fourth Jace. I'd probably just look for... Yeah, they're I, I can't do it now. I can do it now. They're under three. Something's wrong. It's like dragging weirdly. Whoa. See, like, it's like... It's letting go too quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Yes, it's glitched. 100%. I don't know what the hell is happening in my game, but it's not working. I'm missing a white spell. I, still, I can't free it, right? Just do minus four then. It's not that relevant. Low-key stone brain archangel. I don't know. All right, post board is weird as hell. Yeah, post board is weird. It's so weird. Because Sunfall has a lot of value. I think Wandering Emperor is trash. I'm pretty sure Wandering Emperor is just absolute doo doo. But I think Stonebrain is absolute trash too. I think Stonebrain is bad against Ramp. Because they have they have Tidebinder. And I don't really care about like them resolving stuff. I, I need to kill stuff. That's that's the key point. 
is that I can stop them from getting entered the battlefield effects, but I need to be able to interact with stuff as well. So I can't cut to like too much interaction. So it's a it's a double. Yeah, I gotta go like. I gotta be careful. I think Stone Rain is there. like I can't because it's slow tempo and it's also low card advantage. So, well, it's low card advantage. If it resolves, he takes the tracks us, so it's like high card advantage. But again, Tidebinder is not. <laughs> Tidebinder is gonna screw me so hard. I don't know. It's it depends on the position I'm in. In some situations, it's gonna be good. In some, it's gonna be terrible. But there might be a way to play it. Somehow. Good cut Celestis if I think that's correct. That might be. You could cut Riddle and Celestis play Stonebrain. Sounds wrong, but let's try it. Screw it. I think it's terrible. I think this sideboard is absolutely terrible. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, if they t you're right. If they tap out, it's good. But again, as I mentioned, it depends on the situation you're in, right? Something's glitched out on you. Look, what is happening? It really depends on the situation, basically. If I draw it early and they're tapped out, it's fine. But sometimes they don't even play like a tap out game. They just play super slow. It's going to be good here. Yeah, Tidebinder's probably up. Somewhere. My hand is insane. Yeah, my hand is insane. Phyrexian? Three mana, it's the shark. Sure. All right, I can do it now. Is it a Traxa? I think it is, yeah. I mean, it could be, realistically, it could be Archangel, but I have, it, the same counters apply to Archangel as a Traxa, right? I just play like, um, anti-ETB, it's the same, it's the same thing. Uh, it's less dangerous, so. See, this is why you have to combine, you have to combine, it's Grand Unifier, right? Oh, whatever, I lose the, I don't care, I lose the game then. If, if it's not Grand Unifier, I'll lose the game, it's fine. Blankers, Archangel, Shark, two negates, one stroke, yikes. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is why you have to pair Stonebrain with a Sweeper, because it slots really nicely into the curve, and it prevents your opponent from gaining like immense tempo, which is kind of the main way you lose with Stonebrain. Because it's zero tempo. I just lost like all my tempo, basically. I might actually die to that. Let's see, that's pretty good. Yeah, that probably wins, actually. I don't... That was... Yeah, Stone Rain's so bad. <laughs> I mean, it was terrible there. I think I just take too much damage here and I just lose. I could counter this activation but then you have to sweep my own stuff so yeah it's not looking good yep i lose okay unfortunate well it depends how they play it if they play, if they play it terribly i can still win but Okay, they did play it terribly. That's good for me. I have to block. But it's over otherwise. I might still lose. It's gonna be very close. 
But they, they really threw there. I feel like they just played that terribly. All they had to do was like cast Recruiter and activate one maybe. Activating both is terrible. I don't have Farewell. I could play Farewell, but not that good. There is a problem with Get Lost being good here. What the? Oh yeah, they go three and then they kill me. Mm, interesting. Kind of works in my favor. I have to cast this now, right? I forgot about that. I mean, I guess if they draw the other one, I lose, but... Yeah, I forgot about that. That was just bad. I have to go for the kill rate. They have to find it's a race between me finding another Tidebinder slash gaining life. That can't be right. Oh wait, it's not uncounterable. What the hell? What the Oh yeah, it's not uncounterable. Oh yeah, that's actually I didn't even realize that. Why would they do that? They put themselves in a really weird spot. It's not castable? What do you mean? Oh yeah, it's not oh it's not. Wait, they don't have double white there? What the I didn't even notice. How did they cast the first one though? Oh no, they never did. That was last game. Oh. Well. I thought that it, I was 100 percent convinced they could cast that. Because <laughs> for me, this was on Angel, first of all. That's that's why I didn't understand. Because this was on Angel for me. I thought they were just trying to play around Tidebinder by waiting until they find their own Tidebinder. So just kill me. Yeah, they did it for Shark, but... No, I, I get it. I just, like, I was completely lost in this. There's, like, for me, there's only Angel, basically. <laughs> when, when I see a cavern, I just assume it's on Angel. I, I saw the first one for Axiom. The second one, I was 100% convinced was on Angel. So, that's my bad. Definitely my bad. Oh. No, it doesn't really matter. Wait, there's two procs, right? Oh no. Oh yeah, there is two procs. Damn it. Doesn't that doesn't change anything, right? That's actually annoying. Okay, wait, Archangel is super annoying, actually. Maybe I should take out Archangel, because I can remove the ETB from Atraxa. I, you know what? Most of the time, the two damage is irrelevant. It's only relevant in this, like, in some specific scenarios where you're at two HP, which is probably going to happen because they have recruiter post board. Okay, but there's no two three flash flyer that is remotely playable. Is flanker worth it? I don't think so, but eh, maybe. I mean, it would have been fine in that game, I guess, but 
No, I still would have lost because the problem was not anything they were doing with the graveyard. The problem was card advantage. <laughs> it's teamer every game, man. Every game. I'm actually getting tilted a little bit because it's not, nothing's working. It's just, uh, it's not a good matchup at all. I, mean, I could try flanker, but you don't understand what's important. sure, I guess that's pretty annoying. I gotta play this, unfortunately. Worst case, I just slammed a march. That's a really worst. That's worst, worst case. I might cut a Sunfall from the main deck. Oh, yeah, I said, no, no, there's a way to win. There's a way to win. And I mentioned it in the last match. Tidebinder main deck. Tidebinder main deck is the way. 100%. I don't know if this is how they win the game, but I guess. Pretty good. Yeah, using your wild cards on Team Earth, I think, is fine. This it's Team Earth every game now. At this point, I might I'm just gonna play a deck that counters Team Earth because there's no point. It's everywhere. It's actually everywhere. <laughs> and I don't think Blue Eyes is the best deck to tackle it. I think you play like. Actually, I mean, maybe blue white with Tidebinder main deck. Again, I think Tidebinder main deck helps you a lot. So. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, at this point, I do not give a shit. So just just do whatever. Rip is coming to standard. Yeah, it is. It's good. It's a mythic, though. Is Esper mid doing well? Esper mid's fine. It's It's fine. I don't think Esper mid is that good against this unless you're playing Tidebinder main deck. I, and nothing's good against this unless you're playing Disruption at a level that is kind of... Well, it can't be just counter magic, basically. Yeah, it's got to be Tidebinder, yeah. Can you craft the rare version and use it in standard? I think so. I already have it, so... I think it works for most people if they already own the card. Yep, I'm going to play Control with less Sunfall, more Tidebinder main... What the... That is not a good play. If they were going to do that, they had to do that when I was tapped out. I do not care about this ramping, by the way. At this point. I'm just going to hold counter for Virtue. Or I need to draw. I basically need to draw into Jace at this point. Jace. I might go like 4 Jace, 3 Tidebinder main deck or something. And I think you can you can reliably win game one with that, I think. Maybe even a few negates or something. I'm just getting tilted because it's so it's so rough at post board. It doesn't make much sense. Okay. I guess in this case I will kill it in response. I don't think the counter spell is worth anything anymore, so. Just 
destroy it on my turn. Don't tell me they're going to world soul my J's. <laughs> This this Jace has tanked two world souls already. There's no way it's tanking another one, right? Okay, I did not expect that. Okay, I guess we lose. Well, depends what that card is, basically. I'm never expecting freaking main duck doppelgang. I feel like it's so bad. But it's working. It's deluge? Well, I lose if it's deluge. I lose if it's anything, basically. That's fine. It's pretty random. That's fine. I don't think I care about Nissa's ability. I need to draw into Jace. There's still a chance, obviously. They use two World Souls. They have to find... The Basically, they, yeah, they, they find Deluge, they find the World Soul. That's the problem. Doppelgang is very good. I think it's fine. I just don't think it helps you that much when you're not already doing stuff that's broken. So it's kind of it's a win more card. I I just don't see it as anything more than a win more card. But uh, I don't know. I think most of the time in positions where you have the virtue out, it's good. But what if you just had card draw to find world soul? It would be the same basically, right? Because you just win with world soul anyways. It's too reliant on World Soul. I don't think Doppelgang helps you. If you take World Soul out of the equation, I don't think Doppelgang helps you that much, right? Does it? I mean, it copies your opponent's stuff, I guess, but usually your opponent's deck. Like, what deck has cards that are bad against itself? Like, that are good against itself, I mean. Maybe like a Shield Red deck or something? I don't know, you don't need alt win cons because World Soul is going to resolve at some point and you're just going to win. That's the thing with the team or World Soul deck. It's not re it's reliant on World Soul, but you can rely on World Soul because there's four copies and you can use the the fetch back stuff to get it, you know, to get stuff back. So It's like you have six World Souls basically. All right, they have one more turn to find Delusion, and I'm probably going to win. You can be made to obey. Last draw, basically. Oh, I could kill... Well, no, I'm dead. I'm giga dead. Even if I... Yeah. I'm turbo dead to... One Virtue anyways. Okay, that that's... Yeah, that probably was in hand already, so this is the this the other card. What happens when they stone brain or cover up? I stone brained last match and I still lost. I just had no well. Most of the time I stone brain, I would win, but I drew zero card draw and then I just found like too much card draw, so I just got overwhelmed either way. Tidebinder main deck would have stopped that, by the way. Pretty, pretty lucky, I would say, because like there's not that many cards there. Like you have a deluge, obviously. 
Uh, I mean, they still have a lot of cards in the deck, right? So, eh, maybe not. Maybe it's like it's like a one in four probably to find something good. Yeah, no, it's pretty high odds. They're pretty low on cards. Yeah, no, it was pretty high odds. Okay. Main deck Vengeance. I agree. I agree with any two damage sweeper in the main deck. It helps you so much against Boros. All right, well, see what happens. But I think my deck is just poorly constructed against Teamer, and I'm only facing Teamer, so I'm just getting like wrecked all the time, constantly, consistently. But it's always like pretty close though, you know, that's that's why I think it's definitely winnable. It's always like one turn off basically from your winning. In that other match I realistically should have won because I, I had I had lethal quote unquote already. I don't think Rip kills this. Actually, it kind of does. I don't know. It's kind of does, kind of doesn't. Depends. Because Rip also screws you over with Deluge, but the fact that it screws their Deluge as well is pretty huge. I think Rip does screw this deck over pretty hard. I mean, it's way better than Hearse, that's for sure. Okay, now, see, the key factor... In any match versus teamer, is you need some form of card draw because they're gonna draw cards. Uh, their value is extremely high on average, and when you don't find any form of uh, interaction, you're just kind of screwed. Uh, any form of interaction plus you need both. You need interaction and card draw. That's the tough part. Is Jace working? Yeah, Jace works. Like I almost won the chase. When I lose with Jace, it's just because I haven't drawn enough cards to keep up the pressure. You need, you need so many things to line up. I need lands, I need card draw, I need interaction. It's like a never-ending cycle. Okay, that's good. Got lands. Now we need. And another problem is that the the field of ruin is so bad in this matchup. It's just a colorless land, which can hurt you a lot early game sometimes. No. Nope. So I, now I have the card draw, I, have, I don't have the interaction, and I don't have the Jace at all. No Stone Brain, no Hearse, no Counterspell, no Jace, no more Deluge. That was an ultra brick there. Every deck with white will play Rip. Well, yeah, if, the, if this deck's around, it, that will be the case, yeah, sure. Because everybody's playing Hearse, it's similar. The fact that I have no counterplay to that is just cringe. But, um. Uh, I mean, I could draw one, I guess. Okay. They only have one green.
definitely helpful. Okay, now I have card advantage. Now this is... We should win this game, right? Just from card advantage. Hopefully. Do I need seven mana? It's probably good to present seven mana, even if I might not use it. The step number one is always draw cards. That's always the case. I have not tried the 3-1 cat. I don't think it's that good. I think it's fine. I don't think it's better than hers in most situations. I'll try though. I think it's fine. What the hell? It's going to replace Deluge. Uh, there's another bad. There's another bad version of Deluge, kind of. We'll be playing that. All right, I have everything now. The question is, can I? Can I do it all? The answer is probably yes. Gonna wait one turn though. There's no point in milling them preemptively. Do not care if they ramp here. And the mill actually helps me. Because this is at 6, so it's perfect. It should be 30 with 2, now it's 33 with 6. I mean, Deluge being gone definitely hurts this stock for sure. But it's not like... Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. I feel like that's not a good... I mean, it's okay, actually. It depends. Not expecting that, but it's fine. What you are thinking won't work. Still have the other two. I guess there's no point in me not trying to remove that, because I have lethal. If they activate, they lose. Yep. Okay. Most disgusting card to play against in blue white is the Wander. The Wander? Wandering Emperor or Wanderer? You mean against you playing against blue white or blue white playing the card against you? Emperor, yeah, Emperor is the the goat of Blue White, I think, in most scenarios. Uh, without it, I don't think the deck functions even remotely close to as well. So that's a that's the biggest loss, I think, for sure. Once that rotates, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty bad. The control relies on two for ones and board stabilization cards like Sunfall and stuff like that. Losing, losing Emperor is massive. Elish Norn. Okay. It's pretty annoying, actually, but... Eh. Nah, it's fine. It's a big, chunky 5-drop. It's fine. Double turn the Earth. Jeez. No upkeep stop. Oh, yeah, they can screw me with the turn of the earth. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, okay, that's how they don't lose. I get it. Okay, now I understand. I didn't understand what turn the earth was for. But it's because you can stop upkeep and prevent the loss. Ah. Okay, okay. 
Okay, that makes the matchup even worse. I did not, I, I didn't, that's the first time I understood what the card is for, finally. I thought it was just like preemptively putting more cards in your library so you don't get milled to zero, but you can. Ah, okay. Hmm. That's pretty annoying. Uh, now I'm probably just deleting the stack, I think, maybe. I don't know. As long as Teamer's around, I, I don't think you're ever winning anymore. Well, well, you need Stone Brain, basically. Stone Brain is now a must-have. Otherwise, you're just in solos. Do I want Thrall? I, I don't know. Like, do I want Counterspell? Like, what do I... Do I want No More Lies, or do I want Thrall? That's a very interesting question. I, I'm going to try No Thrall again. Yeah, four Tidebinder would help 100%. But I think this matchup is like the more I the more I play, the more unwinnable it seems, honestly. There's probably there's definitely a way to build this deck. Um to have like a good matchup against against Teamer, but it relies on heavy pre-sideboarding and you're probably gonna lose against everything else, so that's the problem. Flanker? I do not think Flanker helps. Well, okay. Flanker helps a little bit. I would play like Hearse and Flanker. Yeah, I mean, it helps. I, I can't say it doesn't help. It probably would help me. Um, but like, I'm already sacrificing so many sideboard slots. I need the fourth Tide Binder, and then I need to add a Flanker as well. That's like, that's two more. And the Flanker is just... I guess it's playable against aggro, so there's that. Yeah, the fact that it's playable against aggro is okay. Yeah. A uh, flanker, I would never play main deck though. Never. So that's not a consideration. If you're considering flanker for the main deck, uh that's not there's there's no way. You play Tidewinder main deck though. Because the flanker in some matchups you're gonna you're gonna be not happy about it. You're going to be really sad. Do I want to counter Deluge or not? I don't know. Do I want to Tide Bind that? Then I won't be able to Tide Bind later, but I think it's fine. What if they interact with it? Then I'm screwed, right? Well, I guess I can remove it if they remove my thing. I think I need the counter for Deluge. I could let it... could let it live. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't think I should. I think I should just counter it. I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> I need to use my mana pretty efficiently in this match as well. No card advantage. This is exactly the same scenario that happened when I lost the previous game. I'm just gonna assume they don't have another one, otherwise I just lose the game. But I mean I can't I can't afford to I can't afford to give them anything, because I have nothing. So if they have another one, they have another one. I think Demir is better than this for sure, but not Demir Control. Well, I guess I guess Demir Control has this yeah, Demir Control is probably better than Blue White in this matchup. Sure. I agree with that. There we go. Better late than never. That's that's a very key piece of the, of the puzzle here. 
Yeah, blue black you lose, yeah. Because they have the sweeper that takes away your stuff, yeah. No, yeah. 100%. Don't care about that. Perfect. Yeah, they're kind of true. Maybe this is proof that you don't need stone brain. You're just seeing like tide binders, flankers. It might be possible if I change the direction, the focus for the stack into like disruptive effects. So I stone brain, I already lost with it once. So I, don't, I don't know if it's that good. I really don't. I think we're losing domain decks after the rotation. Well, aren't they losing everything? I don't know. That's a hard one to... I don't know what they're losing. I would assume that they're losing everything, right? As in their mana base is dead? I might as well kill that, right? I don't see a downside. I'm never going to get to use that ever. Citadel was good there. Very good. Stomper's gone? Yeah, okay. That's big as well. Definitely. I do not want to give them a deluge, so I might, I might pass here. That's interesting. Actually, if they deluge, it's not that bad, right? But it is still, it's still not good, so... I'm just gonna assume I need to counter here. Now, what if they slam Virtue, though? Hmm. I would be in desperation mode. I still have to do it, I think. It would be wrong of me to not do it. And I have answers to Virtue, yeah, it's fine. I have four left, right? Alright. Uh, that was kind of a fluke, though. I... I <laughs> I mean, that second game, or this game, was not... Alright, we'll change it into the deck list for sure. God, I need to...